can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. See, we was cool right before I hit your fist. But he hit the fan when I got him down again. Feel like falling deeper, cold on ice that no shit on. Keep on the end of the get on. Just on this hard and she go. Keep them on hard and go to him to roll. No, I can't, just can't. I don't know my words. Hey, you, it's Kitty You, and happy Friday. It's my favorite. Favorite day of the week because Fridays are days that I don't have class I do try to give myself a break and be very disciplined about allowing Friday Especially Friday mornings to be about winding down and you guys know me my favorite way to wind down is with a book curled up in bed. That could not be made easier than with today's sponsor, which is Book of the Month. If you guys aren't in the loop already, Book of the Month is a super popular and rapidly growing online book service that helps readers discover new books as well as promote up and coming hotshot authors. Every month, the Book of the Month team vets hundreds of books and curates a careful selection of new and early release titles for readers so us bookworms can spend more time reading and less time researching. And this month's selection is Juicy AF. They always outdo themselves. There's The Family, which is a mafia tale about two best friends who happen to be the daughter of Italian mafia bosses. There's How to Marry Keanu Reeves in 90 Days, which you can tell from the title. It's a light, hilarious rom-com. There's Keeper of the Night, which is a historical fantasy inspired by Japanese folklore. There's also A Little Hope, which is a slice of life book about the everyday interconnected lives of residents in a small Connecticut town. Another one is The Collective, which is a thriller suspense novel about a mother avenging her daughter's death. And Book of the Month also included two add-ons, which are both memoirs this month. One is by Will Smith and the other is by Emily Ratajkowski. And I'm really excited to get into reading more memoirs because these are two amazing individuals that I am very interested to peep a little bit inside their brain. My personal choice for this month is The Family because spending the past three, almost four years in Providence where there is a huge deep-rooted Italian scene and history, I think it'd be very, very interesting interesting reading about that. But even with all these sexy titles and plot lines, I know that life can get in the way. This past week has been crazy for me personally as well. And so even if you do fall behind your reading schedule, they are absolutely risk-free. You can skip any month, anytime, and you won't be charged. And Book of the Month is also super affordable with the best prices for new release hardcover fiction. So if you guys are interested, use my code on the screen and go to bookofthemonth.com to get your first book for $9.99. She's somebody else in the making first She's just gotta stop all the faking And she'll be there And why you look at that? It's already lunchtime. I'm back in here again. <laughs> Today we are finishing off my leftovers. I made a Mexican veggie tofu scramble and this is like Spanish microwavable rice. I'm very excited. Leftovers are like a gift from your past self to your future self. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different- ah! Not too pretty, but you know she tastes sexy.
self-care train, aka doing little tasks and errands that I've been pushing off for weeks. Cutting and painting my nails. I haven't cut my nails in like three weeks, so they are ungodly long, which is crazy. Sometimes I be going through life and I'm literally like, I don't have time to shower. Bruh. I don't have time to cut my nails. And that's when you know something's not right. And so I'm really trying to take today to, again, balance things out because um, we should be taking care of our bodies. And guys, let me recommend you a nail polish that at this point, I want her to chip because I have gone three weeks with them barely chipping. The color is starting to change. That's how long that they have been on my nails. So I highly recommend these nail polishes by Sally Hansen. I'll link them below. It's honestly kind of scary how long they're lasting. <coughs> I've mentioned a few times in filming today's video that this past week has been hellish and I guess I should give you some context as to why it was hellish. I kind of had a mental breakdown in therapy on Tuesday and it was one of those breakdowns though that like I didn't see coming. It was only when I started talking about how stressed I was that I started bawling. And that's when I realized like, oh my gosh, I've been suppressing it. It was the first moment where I actually was checking in with myself and realized like, oh my gosh, I am not okay. I was really stressed. I had so many deadlines this week. My video was not done. So I had to do that very, very last minute. And then I also had a huge midterm paper due on the same day that my videos usually go up. And then on Thursday, I had a ton of short form content content drafts do. But ever since Tuesday, today's Friday, it's been a lot better. After a crazy stint of a week like that, you have to let yourself breathe or else you're bound to repeat that toxic cycle. And so today I'm being very, very, very mindful in trying to slow down and give myself some grace. What's frustrating about work-life balance and time management is that you're never going to be perfect at it at every era of your life. Like when you're a high school student versus college student versus working person versus mother, parent, wife, the duties of your life and your responsibilities are constantly changing. And so you're never, the moment you master how to be a college student, college is over. And now you are a working 20 something in a new city. And then you have to figure out how the frick to master that. And by that time, like you have a ring on your finger and then you have to like figure out how to be a significant other. And it's, it's, um, it's a journey with no destination. And so I think that's what I've come to terms with. At this point in my college career, I have completely mastered the flow of school. Like I know how to write a paper. I know how to go to classes. I know exactly what readings I need to do and how much of the readings I really need to do to get by. Like, But that role is already being phased out of my life in that I have YouTube as a job as a result of you guys and all the good graces that you guys have shown me in making this my full-time occupation. But it's so new to me that I feel like a headless chicken and a freshman again of how to balance my life and prioritize myself so it is a constant seesaw that is okay like life doesn't allow us to do that so why are we trying to like shove it down our throats to have it all set in stone and know exactly what we were doing it's just it's just not possible and so that is the realization i came to this past week and i figured i'd share that these are how long my nails are without the nail polish. Literally illegal for me. Like I never let them get to this point. So very excited to snip snip and paint. Does it get easier? No. Yes. It gets easier. Oh yeah. Do you want to be in it or no? Good. Hi, this is JP, my roommate. Hey. We are on our way to CVS to pick up some goodies for my friend Hannah, who has a minor dental operation today. You will see her later today. But yeah, we're gonna go pick up some goodies to cheer her up. Yeah. 